everyone, it's Monica. Welcome back to my Bible journaling channel. Today is Monday, but this whole week I'm deviating from the regularly scheduled program to bring you three different types of videos. Today is my January flip through my journaling Bible with me, and I do apologize. I know February is half over and you're just getting a peek at it now. Hopefully you can forgive me and hopefully you still enjoy seeing what I was up to in January. So the first page I want to share with you is this page that I added just inside the front cover of my Bible. So this is my little watercolor painting of my little sloth here and he is just reminding me to not be slothful in my zeal for Jesus and in my relationship with God. I then worked here in Genesis, and again, I'm going in biblical order through the pages that I did, not necessarily in the order that I created them. So this is my second page in my series on the names of God in the Old Testament. And this one here, I don't believe is live yet, but you'll see it coming soon. The very next page in Genesis was my first entry in the Names of God in the Old Testament series, and this was El Shaddai. And as I go through this, I will link as many videos as I possibly can in the info cards for you so that you can check out the process videos for these pages. Moving on into Psalms. Psalms is the book that I've been making my way through a little bit at a time. And this page here was also in the month of January. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. On the following page, I went ahead and did a two page spread. And this is my Rock of Ages page. And so I just took a lot of scripture verses from these chapters and really used that old hymn, Rock of Ages, Cleft for Me, Let Me Hide Myself in Thee. I used that as sort of an inspiration for the artwork on this page as I was studying and meditating and spending time with the Lord this day. Next, I did another two-page spread. I was sort of getting excited here about doing two pages at a time and having fun really seeing a lot of scripture verses that tied together and all of that. And this is just that famous passage about some trust in chariots, but I trust in the name of the Lord. On the very next page, on the left-hand side here, this was also part of my January Bible journaling and it's just kind of a free form lettering, sort of a freestyle lettering, I guess. All families of the nation shall worship before you, for kingship belongs to the Lord. He rules over the nations. The page before this is my Psalm chapter 23 Bible journaling template that I did for a tip in and everything, but that was actually back in December. This page here is also coming up on my channel. If it's not live yet, it will be soon. And this just is a quick and fun watercolor flowers page. It says, make known to me your ways, O Lord. The friendship of the Lord is for those who fear him. And I got really excited about that word friendship. And one of the other ways to translate that is secret counsel. So we get to have this really intimate relationship with God and that was what I was thinking about that day. Moving right along, I also finished installing all of my REST templates into my own Bible. And as you might recall, REST was the word God gave me for 2016. And so I've kind of closed out 2016 and celebrated all through January, adding these passages on REST into my Bible. And this one in particular had a fun video about how to transfer an image into your Bible, so I'll link that one for sure for you. This also is one of my REST templates. They were all kind of on a stained glass theme, and this one is just whoever has the fear of the Lord rests satisfied from Proverbs here. After that, here we are in Isaiah with another REST template. You keep her in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you. And we just have the dove here symbolizing that perfect peace that we can have in our relationship with God. Yet another rest template, and these are all available in my Facebook group. So if you're not a part of that, you'll want to join 
there is a link in the description box below. And all of this margin art, as well as my Psalm 23 tip-in right here, is available to you as a subscriber to this YouTube channel and a member of that Facebook group. So if this interests you, head on over there. This one is the come to me and I will give you rest verse in Matthew, probably one of the most famously and most often quoted passages in scripture about rest. And then here in Mark 6, Jesus tells his disciples, come away and rest a while. And I just love that if he said that to his disciples, he would also have said that to us in our day-to-day -day lives. We are welcome to come away and rest a while. Next, I did some work here in Galatians, and I just did this very huge word free in sort of negative space using some of those Dr. P.H. Martin's Hydrus watercolors. And finally, here we are in Philippians. This is the final page I did in January with my cute little owl here reminding myself to think about these things. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this was interesting for you to see. Please do check out my Facebook group. The link is in the description box below. If you did enjoy this video, here's a couple more videos of mine that you might also enjoy. You can click on my face there and go explore my channel and subscribe, check out my other playlists and things like that. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.